Osteopore International is a Singapore medical device manufacturer. Uh, we design and manufacture 3D implants uh, that resemble bone structure and help patients to regenerate their own bone. So the implant stays in the body for a predetermined period of time uh, and during that process the patient's own bone tissue will grow into our product. Uh, it will integrate with our product and at the end of uh, two years this product disappears in the body but the bone structure remains. So in a, in, a sh in a very short summary what we do is we help to reconstruct the patient's bone structure and allow them to improve their quality of life significantly. Um, to our knowledge this is the first in the world and the only in the world and uh, we are very proud to say that uh, we have this technology in Singapore operating out of Singapore um, developed in Singapore. I think for since we are in a business, right? So we have to uh, put in considerations on how the intellectual property or the intangible assets that the company will have or plans to have aligns with the commercialization strategy. And I think that's very important because um, if you are just going to file a patent uh, with a certain amount of protection without aligning it to how you want to utilize the patent and the technology associated with it in the commercial world, then you don't ring fence your technology in that in that area um, so it is very important to have a planning stage whereby we look at the kind of disclosures that we want to make um, sometimes you might not even want to make a disclosure because you might want to keep something as a trade secret uh, that helps to protect the company's position um, but for things that you don't mind uh, putting it as a pattern to build value for the company uh, I think it's important to sit down uh, and discuss how and what kind of uh, scope would this pattern be applicable for and then go on from there to determine what sort of protection that's required because uh, I think there are various forms of protections not just patents there are trademarks there are registered designs um, so it depends on the commercializations plan of the company and of maybe even the founders to see how they would like to position themselves in the market and therefore defining what sort of protection to go for